Staff writing positions are when you are paid uh, by a publishing company specifically to write songs for them. They are, to many people, the holy grail of Nashville to achieve a staff writing position. But there is a lot of caveats to that. Staff writing positions are not what they once were. Uh, in 1997, uh, there were around 1,480 staff writing positions. As of now, we have about 315. The reason is downloading took so much money out of the industry, which was about $4.5 billion over a five-year uh, period, that it took the incentive for publishers to be able to pay songwriters to actually write songs. Uh, if you're paying somebody fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a year then you get a cut on a song and it pays nothing because it's downloaded out of existence you make nothing so you don't get to make your investment back and it costs about a quarter of a million dollars to be a publisher in the modern day of music so you've got to score a lot of cuts so the staff positions diminished quite a bit they're basically now between the young and up-and-coming artists that have a chance at a record deal or the ones that have record deals and the top of the heat songwriters which are about 75 writers that uh, get a majority of the cuts a year. An interesting thing up until about 1973 there were only about 150 songwriters in town and there were about 50 people that made the majority of the money. In the 80s, which were the traditionalist Randy Travis era of the music business and country music business, uh, there were about 10,000 writers with about 50 people making the majority of the money. After the Garth Brooks era in the 90s, there were about 40,000 writers with about 50 people making the majority of the money. In the 2000s, there are now around 48,000 writers with about 50 people making the same amount of money. So there are a lot of people competing for these staff deals. The way that staff deals work usually start with a publisher when they have some interest in the artist or the writer and they're looking more and more at artists now so this is something to keep in mind as you're looking to who to write with or how do you uh, present yourself. So they start usually with what we call a kind of a handshake, come in, open door, play me some songs when you're around kind of thing. That might lead to a single song deal, which would be, well, let me work this song for a while. Sometimes it's handshake, sometimes it's an actual contract. Uh, contracts usually last for a couple of years, maybe three years, where that, that publisher is out there attempting to work the song and play it for people. Then that leads often to a what we call a representation deal, where they say, don't go to anybody else, just come in, and at that time, uh, and also sometimes on the single song that the publishers might pay for the demos. They don't always do that. Sometimes they do. Sometimes there's a split cost. It just really depends. Then there's the full songwriting deal, which you have a certain quota of songs in a period of time, a year to 18 months, that you are expected to be out there writing a lot of songs. Uh, the money that you can look to expect from a, a staff deal is anywhere from $150 to $250 a week. So if you can live on that, good luck. It's why you find most staff writers and find most writers in general that have a multiple variety of things that they do for a living. That's why very, very few people make a living just from music. They have production companies. They are producers themselves. They own publishing companies. They are involved in various aspects of the music industry. And so you have to keep all of this in mind when you're sitting down with any publisher of what you expect out of your own uh, goals to find out how you can help them with their goals. It's always about how you can help someone else for them to help you. That's what we call the win-win scenario. You win something, they win something. Once again, if you look at it like that and as a partnership, don't worry about the details of contracts or anything like that. Make the relationships, build the relationships, focus on the relationships. Everything comes through that and you will be fine.